Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my first of two Halloween videos because I am just so excited for Halloween I thought, you know what, I'm going to upload my first one today. I love Halloween so so much, if you couldn't already tell by my cat ears, my lipstick, my top, the background, the theme of the video. Basically I just love Halloween so much and you might be sat at home thinking, Molly it's a little bit early. No it's not, it's not too early, it's not too early at all. Today I'm here with uh, quick and easy treats. For Halloween, I haven't really decided what I'm going to call the video yet, but I know that it's some quick and easy treats, fit for Halloween parties, giving out for trick-or-treaters, just to eat around this general time of year. So if you're interested in that at all, then this video is going to hopefully be for you. And when I say quick and easy, I mean quick and easy. I'm the least patient person when it comes to making food, so this really is quick and easy. But before we get on with the video, I thought I'd also just let you know that I'm also holding a giveaway. So I'm going to keep this giveaway open until I hit 50,000, and I'm giving away cheeky bit of Lush stuff because everybody loves Lush and especially at this time of year I thought I would give away some of their Halloween and Christmas themed things because doesn't everybody just love that? Yes, they do. So me and Hannah, fabulous Hannah, went into Lush and picked out a couple of things that you guys might like and we picked up these two because they fit the season so this one is called Little Monster and it's one of their little gift sets for Halloween um, and in it is a monster ball bath bomb and the Lord of Misrule shower cream so you get two little Halloween treats from Lush inside of this one and in this little gift box you get the shoot for the stars bath bomb and the snow angel bath melt and this one's called the night before Christmas and this is a Christmas one I have no shame that this is Christmas because I just love Christmas so much. Um, so yeah, there are these two things. Um, I just thought I'd give them back to you because I love Halloween, I love autumn, and I thought it was a nice thing to do. So if you're interested in winning these, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below about what your favourite thing is for this time of year. That's pretty much it. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment because let's just, I just wanted to give these back to you and I thought it'd be a really nice thing to do. Um, so I'm also going to leave my social media on the screen, you can follow me over on Twitter and Instagram as well if you were wanting to for like an extra chance of winning but if you don't have those social media it's not the end of the world, um, so yeah. And I'm going to keep this giveaway open until I hit 50k so keep pushing and we'll get there and I'll close the giveaway and hopefully one of you guys will be enjoying the Halloween and Christmas bath products very very soon. But without further ado the real reason that you're watching this video is so you can see me attempt to make Halloween food. So I'm just going to get straight on with it and hope that you enjoy it. I'm pretty proud of how it turned out so let's go. Okay so for these first ones what you're going to need is some marshmallows, some Oreos, some squeezy frosting or icing and a black icing pen or something similar that you can draw on the marshmallows with that is preferably black although other colours are of course optional. So I chose to do five marshmallows, you could do more or you could do less depending on the event or the situation, I just chose to do five because that way I could give one to each member of my family and I could have two. <laughs> so basically what I did is do three like dots on each marshmallow kind of to provide the effect of the ghost emoji so it looks like they had an open mouth um, and I did this and I let them all dry so I kept them lying down so that it didn't run although if they do end up running it kind of does just add to the Halloween -y effect. So while they were drying I got five Oreos out and I broke them so that you had the side with the cream facing up and then I got rid of the other side and ate them um, and I wanted this, this was going to be the little hat for the marshmallow go. Finally when I was like, do you know what, I'm going to risk it, I'm going to stand them all back up and hope their faces don't run. Um, and then I placed a tiny bit of vanilla icing on to act as kind of like glue so the hats didn't fall off. Doesn't have to be vanilla. Any icing that will be sticky and floats your boat. I used this one just because it was convenient. And I put a little dot on each of their heads so that the Oreos would stick to them because I didn't want them to fall off. And these were like little hats. It also made them look kind of like toadstools. I just thought that was quite cute. And then I put a dollop of icing on top of each of the Oreos. Um, and the icing had been warmed up so it was a little bit too runny for this to work. But you know, I just went with it. I winged it and did the best I could. And then I used my Tesco Halloween sprinkles and just popped on these little purple balls on the top of their 
uh, hats just to give it a Halloweeny effect, made it look even more like a toadstool, but oh well, I think these are really, really cute, and I love marshmallows and I love Oreos, so these are just really cute little snacks. I gave it to Harry for a taste test, and I think his face says enough. So for your second Halloween treat, you're going to need some gingerbread men and some icing. Um, and it depends how creative you are and how artistic you are as to how adventurous you are with this one. I played it pretty safe. So the first thing I did was outline the first gingerbread man with white icing and my thinking here was I'm going to try and make it look like a mummy. This one was not particularly successful, although it did taste amazing with the vanilla icing. Uh, and then I just highlighted and tried to create like shadows with a black icing pen. This was me trying to get more creative than was actually possible and it did kind of fail a little bit but oh well, trial and error guys, trial and error. The second one was a lot more successful so I placed the second gingerbread man down and I covered him in black icing all the way from head to foot and my first thought was I'm going to make this one look like a skeleton so you know when you see those kids wearing skeleton costumes? Well that was the kind of vibe I was going for here so I took one of these little schools, I bought this set from Tesco as well and I just placed it where the head would usually be and I think this looks so creepy. It also looks like A from Pretty Little Liars because of the like black suit and then mask kind of thing. And I also did the same with another one, I just used another one of the faces and I think these worked a lot more successfully. And then I went back in with the white icing on the skeleton one and tried to make it look like he had bones. I'm not sure if this worked but I did try it and I do think these look pretty cool. And again, gave it to Harry for a taste test and I'm pretty sure I loved it. Okay, so for the third one you're going to need some Reese's Buttercups, some Matchmakers and then your Halloween Sprinkles. Um, so I took them out of the packet and I took the matchmakers out of the packet and the first thing I did was turn the little Reese's cups upside down out of the packet so that they were facing upward. And then what I did was take each matchmaker, now this is where it's optional, if you don't like mint flavoured matchmakers you can get the orange ones, obviously change this up to suit you so you actually like it. So then I stuck them in the bottom of the cup and made sure that they looked somewhat central and I kind of think these worked in looking like broomsticks. Obviously this is kind of loosely based but this the general idea here was that it looked like a witch's broom. And then I went back in with the icing pen just to give it a little bit of detail to try and, you know, I was trying to be more artistic than what was realistic here but you know. And then the little packet I bought from Tesco had witches' faces in it so I used these to stick on the top of the matchmakers to give, give it the effect that they were kind of like had faces and that they were riding the broomstick. I just think these look really cute and they actually taste really really good. So they're edible, they're enjoyable and they look creepy and would look amazing at some kind of Halloween party and these were Harry's favourite. Look at his face. Alright so these are the three finished results. I'm actually really proud of how they turned out. Usually my baking ability is pretty dire so these went pretty good for me. Um, but yeah I think the ghosts were my favourite but I'm really happy with them all. Let me know which you preferred down in the comments. Okay guys, that is pretty much everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you thought it was easy to follow. If you did follow it at home, I'd love to see a picture of it on Twitter or Instagram um, because I think they are pretty simple. I am a very lazy person when it comes to cooking and baking, so these were right up my street. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to enter the Lush giveaway that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. There'll be more information on that in the description. Hopefully that'll be closing fairly soon whenever I reach 50,000. It is insane how close I'm getting and I would love to get there before my birthday so if you're not subscribed please do that down below and I shall see you on Thursday with another little upload because I'm just uploading all the time these days. But I do have another upload going up on Thursday so hopefully I'll see you all back on my channel then. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you very soon. Bye!